Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Tuesday. This is a new training segment that we're gonna have on Tuesdays that we're gonna talk about real estate, uh, well actually, excuse me, technology and real estate and how this can help you uh, grow your business. Um, we're gonna talk about some really cool software that can help you build your business even faster. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna talk a lot, of, a lot of good stuff. Every week we're gonna do this. Uh, there's enough, I think there's enough software tools and tricks that we can cover every week for a while. <laughs> so um, we'll, be, uh, we'll be posting this uh, here. And by the way, you can ask any questions in regards to technology. I don't want you to think that I'm just, this has to be just a showcase um, or a training segment. You can ask any questions you want in the comments below. Um, either about the softwares that I'm going to be showing you or if it's about another software that you may be using Maybe it's a software that you've been thinking about and Not too sure if you should use it or incorporate it into your business Then I also want to hear about that also. Okay, you can throw that uh, you can throw your questions in there in the comments below I'll also I wanted to share with you something that most people don't really talk about too often. Okay, and that is um, project management project management and also um, you know, organization in your business. And if you're building a successful business, it's got to go beyond you. That means it has to go beyond you means you have to have like a VA. You have to have someone in your business that is, you know, helping you build. Now it could be a VA, maybe they're overseas, or maybe it's someone that is local to you working on projects with you, right? So how do you manage that? If you are, this is like the only piece of paper that's literally on my desk. I don't have papers on my desk, but the reason why I printed this was because um, I wanted to have it in front of me when I'm editing. So this is the only papers I have and it's literally on my desk. Most people have lots of papers. I've been in clients' homes and personal offices where they got stacks of papers, they got sticky notes everywhere all around their monitor. And let me tell you, if that's you, it's okay. Don't be embarrassed. It's okay to give this video a like or let me know in the comments below if that's you. But if it's you, you need to do something about it. Like you really have to because if you're constantly operating in a mess, then the rest of your business becomes messy. As more comes in, it just piles up to become more messes. I don't know if you know this about me, but um, about 10 years ago, I started a consulting company where these uh, expert guru guys that you might be familiar with, they would actually hire me to come in, clean up messes, organize their business so they could do more deals. So you might have heard some of these names. I'm not going to mention them, but you might have heard some big names that are out there. Some are on TV. Some are just well known on the internet. Um, and maybe you've you've met them before, have done business with them. But the reality is they would actually hire me to help them organize their business with technology and systems so that they could go even further along. Uh, and I, I did that for at least six years. And some of these companies would pay me six figures, and not just a year. Some paid me six figures a year. Some paid me six figures for six months. Uh, to, in order to get this done. Why? Because these little tweaks, what, what, what I'm about to share with you are these little tweaks that make a huge impact. So if I was working with an organization that was doing, let's say, five deals a month, okay, they were you know turning five deals a month and they wanted to go to 10, it's not about let's pump more marketing, let's it make more offers. No, it's actually what are the little things that we're missing? What are the systems that are not in place to us to, to squeeze the juice out of every lead, right? That's why people hired me years ago. I mean, they still do, but I kind of, I turn most of them down these days. Um, but, a lot of these guys would hire me in their real estate business to organize that, to get things in line and to create order. And, uh, and, and, and it was kind of, it's kind of like shocking sometimes that you would think some of these bigger companies, you know, or the, you know, these gurus would be doing all these deals, but yet have their life organized and, or their business more organized. And the truth of it, it's not the case most of the time. Most of the time, it's not the case. So, um, what I want to share with you is the same 
type of softwares and systems that I've shared with other experts and gurus out there to help them leverage their business. Oh, and by the way, if you're ever wondering like, how did you get hired by those guys, Nathan? I get that question asked sometimes. Is I actually worked for some of the top organizations, you know, the guys at the top. And in order to be, you know, it's like if you were to work for Amazon or Apple or Walmart, I mean, those guys got their act together, right? <laughs> yeah. So I was working for some of the top tier real estate investment companies. And then after I left those organizations, there was like there was like two or three of them that I kind of jumped around in, uh, like one year here, one year there. Um, after I left those organizations, all the second tier and third tier real estate investing companies wanted to hire me because of the results I brought into their company. Does that make sense so far? I'm just trying to give you some uh, background into why these systems and automation tools are so important in your business. I'm not just here to uh, show you a piece of technology and what do I do with it, Nathan? No, I'm giving you the background so that you know the importance of this and you know the importance of organization. It really matters in your company and everyone should be in sync. So what I'm about to show you are some simple tools that you can use in your business. And the best part is it doesn't have to be just on your own computer. A lot of these softwares these days, they are like virtual, like you can have teams all over the world, you know, jumping in and, and using these softwares. Now, the first one I'm showing you right here on the screen is called FreeCamp. FreeCamp is a project management software. I'll I'll tell you right now, I have not used them before, but I'm sure uh, the next two the next two that I'm about to show you, I have used, but I always like to give you three options. I always like to give you three options so you can choose. And in software, let me tell you something that's very important. Listen up. Something that's very important in software is the UI. It's called the user interface. And that means it's the look, it's the feel, it's the colors, it's how easy things are for you. And for some people, it's really easy to use a particular type of software. For someone else, it may be like, oh my gosh, that software is so difficult, right? You understand? So, um, you know, like for example, uh, Excel. I'm just gonna use something as basic as Excel and Microsoft Word, right? So a lot of people use Word because it's really easy to use, right? It's easy, it's simple and all that. But then you have a whole nother group of people that think Excel is amazing, easy to use. And they're like, yeah, it's so simple. And then everybody else, like including myself, is like, Excel, my gosh, I got a headache, right? So do you understand it's the same with these kinds of softwares? What's really important about these softwares is not about thinking and waiting to pick the right one. What's really helpful is that you try a few and see which one works best for you. That's the most important thing. Try a few and see which one works best for you. This way you can make a decision based on the UI and what you really like and enjoy, all right? So with that said, I wanna show you FreedCamp. FreeCamp, like I said, I personally haven't used this one, but I want to show you some of the things that it can come with. So this, like as it says here, some things like for wedding plans or organizing a camping trip or leading a work project. So it's kind of giving you an idea that you can use this for personal and for business. And yes, the other two softwares I'm about to show you, I have used for personal use and business. So they have task lists, subtasks, that's a really common thing. They have a Canon board, which is a modern way. I'm gonna show you that on the next uh, the next software, how that works. Um, and they have different types of charts and different ways to do tasks. Now, the good thing is that this one is absolutely free, which is really nice. That's a nice, uh, nice thing. Now, the only thing I'll tell you what, um, when it comes to, and this is why I also wanted to show you this. The only reason why I'm a little hesitant about free software is let me just, um, the, you know, you can get, you get started free. But whenever I see free, okay, I just think there's a lack. I wonder if there's a pricing. There is a pricing. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, because sometimes when you're dealing with these softwares, if they don't have pricing structure, I get a little nervous because that means they're not really caring about the software. There may not be customer service. There may not be like uh, updates going on in the software and that's really concerning to me. So me with project management software, it should have you know uh, a paid service. And look, it's not that expensive. If you look at this pricing, it's really cheap even to use something like FreedCamp. Um, now this is probably one of the cheaper ones uh, that I've seen 
compared to the other two, but it still gives you like um, some good you know features. To, but it's it's not expensive. You can see it's really not expensive, and they offer a lot of the same uh, things as the other two. So that's one. And like I said, I always like to give you an option of two softwares, uh, excuse me, three softwares, so that you can see the options and you can try them out yourself. The next one I'm already logged into is called Trello. That's Trello, I'm already logged into it. Now this is just an account that I created just to show you today, it's not a personal account. I actually used to use Trello, it was, it was one of the first project management softwares that I used. It used to be only free and now I believe they charge a fee, I'll get to that in just a second. But as you can see in Trello, you can create a team, which is really nice. This way, if you have a virtual assistant or an assistant locally, you can you can you know manage each other in there. Um, I'm taking you into a board, okay? And this board, these are called uh, boards, is how you would manage your projects. So you would add labels. You always want to find a software that has either labels or tags, and most of them do these days. At least the better ones do. Uh, the paid ones, if you find, if one doesn't have tags or labels, then don't use that software, okay? Because tagging is such an important part of our real estate business. You're definitely going to need it. All right. Then, uh, you can, you know, add the due dates of when something is due. You can add reminders, which is a very simple feature. Uh, and then hit save. The cool thing is you can take, you see what I'm doing here? This is a very, this is a very powerful feature. You can actually move, uh, a task over into a different uh, board, a column board, which is a really nice feature. So, you know, other softwares that are not as user friendly, maybe they're free, won't give you that like ease of use, okay? As soon as you move something, it's already on the next board, it automatically notifies someone and you can create another list. So these are lists and these are tasks in the board. And there's other things you can do as a breakdown in them, such as, you know, uh, dates, if dates need to be done, if you need to add descriptions to the project, if you need to add checklists, maybe you need to add checklists like, you know, do this, right? I can't spell right now. So if you need to add checklists to something, you know, you can do that. You can also move move the uh, checklist to that or delete them, of course. You can add comments to your team. This is really important. So listen, most people, let me, let me, let me stress this part. Most people would be commenting back in an email, right? If you've ever experienced this, I'm sure you have because, you know, technology keeps getting better and better. But if you have ever like communicated with a team member and you're always communicating an email, then, you know, you're going back and forth through software. The commenting, you would want to keep everything in commenting. I'll give you an example. One of the best ways, actually, I found one of my virtual assistants online years ago through an online platform. And then eventually as I hired her full time, I just kind of pulled her out of the platform and I just said, hey, our main form of communication is going to be through WhatsApp because now we weren't sharing a platform. It's going to be WhatsApp. It's instant. It's fast. That's what we liked at the time. We don't use it anymore, but I'm just giving you an update. I'm um, excuse me. I'm just sharing something with you that I did in the past. So we were sharing WhatsApp, whatever, whatever. And then when we got a software, which I'm about to show you next, the next software we used, we used all our communication in the software. And because all our communication was in like a chat app and we would have to scroll through all the messages to find what we were really looking for about a specific project. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, you don't wanna always be searching for data. You want everything neat and organized in a good place. And this gives you the opportunity to do that by adding comments, by uh, adding, you know, if you need to attach um, files to, um, you know, the files to a, a task list, so on and so forth. And you probably can already see the, how many ideas you can get just by using this in real estate. Each, you know, each, um, let me uh, let me jump onto this one. Each 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 column here, each task list could be a property for you, right? So let's just say you're adding one, two, three Main Street, okay? And we're gonna add a list. Let me move this this way so I can see it more properly here, okay? And then we add a list, and we need to. You can expand these, by the way. Oh, there it goes. Okay, you can add members to it. I'm not gonna add any members at the moment, but. Because I don't, I'm, this, again, this is just kind of like, um, it's kind of like a dummy account. All right. So I'm adding this task list. And now look, you can, you know what you can do with this, right? You can add in, let me just move this over a bit. You can add a checklist. All right. I'm just kind of going through here, guys. Just don't, don't, you know, 
uh, this is uh, kind of like a mock-up. <laughs> so you can add like a generated task list that needs to be done. Call client, got it done, right? Let's uh, call the seller, call the buyer, right? And the notes go in there. So in a way, it kind of asks, it acts like a, um, uh, a kind of like a CRM in a way, also a follow-up. It's not really a CRM. I want to make that clear because that does come up sometimes. This is project management. So maybe if you're working on a rehab, right? Or maybe you're working on some kind of project, um, you know, that is, you know, it could be personal as well, but maybe you're working on a rehab and you need to have multiple things you need to go through. Maybe it's the closing process. This really isn't for uh, a CRM to keep contacts in. Uh, just want to make that clear. So you can also add labels. You can color coordinate them. I want to bring something up that's really important, okay? Color coordinating labels is really important. If, for example, let's say you had a closing and this, oh, yeah. All right, so this is one, two, three. This is the closing process. Anytime you're, let's say you're going through a closing, what you would want to do is make sure that you color coordinate that. That's really an important thing, such as, um, hey, Sarah, how's it going? Great to have you on board. Great, great that you're listening. Um, and Ryan and Tim and Troy. All right, welcome everyone. Um, so this, uh, what's really important in your business is everything should be color coordinated. I don't know if you knew this, but your mind kind of gravitates towards colors faster than reading. Um, don't quote me on that. Like that's like science, okay? And studies and kids and all this other stuff. But when you color coordinate your files and folders, it helps to you to remember instantly. You don't, you don't actually have to read. You actually look for colors. Your mind is, ends up looking for colors. So for example, I, I color coordinate everything at first on the top, like the way I index things, is every company has a color. For example, Fearless Millionaire is red, you're right? And then, um, you know, one of my, uh, my uh, what do you call it? Oh my gosh, my funding company is green, right? And then another company is purple, right? Another... What, yellow, sorry. Uh, you understand where I'm coming. So that's the first index. Then at, let's say, let's take a real estate investing company. As it's in there... Um, like for example, if I'm going to do a, a closing, the closing folder is green. Why? Closing means money, right? Just do some things like that that you can pick up on quickly with colored labels. Because if you're not using color labels, um, why do you think these are here? Why do you think labels are here in project management software, in CRMs? Why do you think they're there? They're there for a reason. They're not just there just for the heck of it. They're actually there because the best way to do things, it's like, have you ever been to a dentist office or a doctor's office? I'm sure you have, but a doctor's office or a dentist office and they have like everything kind of color coordinated. They don't really look at the names or the letters after a while. They go by color, right? So that's really important. That's Project Management 101, color coordinate everything, all right? So that's an imp important thing. So this is how uh, Trello works. I, I can't go much deeper into Trello, folks. This is how easy it is. You can create a board like we just did. Oh, hold on. Um, one, two, three, land. Let's do that, okay? I just created a whole new board. Right? Well, where did the other board go, Nate? I just started a whole new board. And I can go back to my other boards, as you can see, pretty instantly. This could be a personal board, could be your personal life, could be a work life, whatever you want it to be. You can jump from board to board to board, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. You can also add in your Google Calendar, okay? There is a bunch of what Trello calls these is power-ups. That's what they call them. They call them power-ups. And a power-up is basically integrations into Trello. So there's things like analytics and reporting. If you want to know what's going on and how fast people are um, uh, working on projects, you could do that. Automation, gotta love automation, right? There's things like card delete, Butler. I mean, this could go on and on. We could be here a while, right? <laughs> um, Zapier, Zapier is a powerful integrator. We could look at file management, Google Drive. So if you wanted to pull files from Google Drive into your Trello boards, you could do that instantly or a box or I'm sure there's a Dropbox. There it is. Couldn't see it behind the window there. So uh, Dropbox, right? Let's say uh, you are in marketing and social media. Really important. Let's say your VA is going to work with you on marketing your properties or helping you build a buyer's list, right? 
you could actually have integrations into Evernote, uh, MailChimp, Twitter accounts, uh, Wistia, SurveyMonkey. These are the ones they have, right? Sales and support, Salesforce, if you use Salesforce, Pipedrive, right? These are just some other softwares. And you know what? In the future, we're going to actually cover some of these other softwares that you're seeing uh, on our Tech Tuesdays. But again, uh, Trello just gives you the opportunity to have those features there where you can uh, use power-ups or other integrations to merge right into your um, to your projects, okay? Um, the, another great feature about this is there is a mobile app. There is a, an iPad app. There's tablet apps, whether you're Android or iPhone. Let me just jump out of this for a second. I know I'm here logged in. As you can see, there's not much more to Trello, by the way. It's really just those boards and one dashboard. That's really all it is. I can't say there's much more. It's a really simple user interface. Um, I'm trying to get to Trello here. Here it is. Uh, there we go. So Trello lets you work more, lets you work more collaboratively, work with a team. Uh, and I want to get to the part here where you have Apple uh, and um, what do you call it? Uh, the app stores. They're both there, and you get started free. Let's cover pricing. I always like to cover pricing with you. I think they're still at ten dollars a month. Um, and if you pay annually, they have the forever plan. Now, let me tell you the difference of pricing here. Uh, in my opinion, from what I've seen from most people in, in doing this in real estate, you're probably going to be fine with the free version. You could probably use Trello for free and not have to pay for it, seriously. Um, if you start uploading a lot of um, files, okay, uh, 10 megabytes per file attached, if you start uploading a lot of files like contracts and stuff to your Trello, you might run out of space. You might end up, you know, using, uh, you know, a, a business class at twelve fifty a month or ten dollars a month. Um, but I would definitely start off free and, you know, try it out, test it out, see what you think. OK, this helps you organize your projects. OK, um, and start there with the free version of Trello.